it is that time of year when we are dealing with class lists and rosters and things that uh, we might want to take uh, the data from and put them into a Word document where we have um, different rows to work with. And sometimes those rows and columns can deal us fits. Uh, just for example, my second line here, I forgot to add in Nebraska. When I did that though, it bumped over March. So if I was working on this for real, I'd have to go back in and line everything back up. And it's just sometimes kind of wonky to deal with. So I am going to show you, I'm just going to get rid of this text here, a way to work with a document, with data in a document, to where it might make it a little bit easier to um, work with. So what I did was I have the same data that I just erased, but I have it in a table here. And when it's in a table, you can do things like color your cells. So I'm just going to do blue and yellow for gearing. Let me add in some blue, and that's probably a horrible blue to use with black, but that's okay. For example sake. Okay, so, whoops, I realized what I just did. I'm going to go back in here and fill it. There we go. Okay, so now you have a table with data that is colored. But let's say that you might want to, <laughs> maybe you don't want the actual table to show up. So, if you pick any cell, just put your cursor in any cell, and you right click, and if you find the option for table properties. You can take the um, points that your table border is and take it to zero. And then all you are left with are the columns and the rows, but without any lines. So if I were to put Nebraska in here now, it doesn't affect the column here on the far right. Um, I was working <coughs> in a document that was shared with me the other day and I was trying to delete the information that I didn't want. And every time I went to delete just a little bit of text from one of the middle columns, it just threw all of the formatting off for the whole document. So this is just an easy way to format a document without actually putting a table on it. Because here's what it'll look like without any color and without any lines. And you see I can space here until I get to the end of that cell and it's not going to push um, any of the rest of the text out of the column that it is currently in. So I think as the year goes on you will definitely find a use for this little tip.